Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. My name is Wendy Lee and you can find me at creativelyyours.com. I'm an independent stamp up demonstrator in the US. I'm very excited that you're joining me today for our crafty fun. Yay! 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 So, so much going on. Today is on my calendar, June 18th. Crazy, crazy how time flies. But yes, June 18th. So that means... Let's see, we've got some things going on. That just means there's only two more days to register for my Cultivated Creativity DIY Paper Crafting Kit. It's such a good one this month, you wanna see? There's projects behind me, yay! I do have a um, sneak peek video on my YouTube channel, so check that out. So, what else is going on? Always so much going on, right? We just, um. We have pre-order going on for some new online exclusives that are being released in July. Yes, 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 yes. So as a demonstrator, we get to get our hands on things early, which I love. One of the best perks, right? Um, and if you missed out on the Glass Mat Studio during our celebration promotion, you'll be able to get that. It's going to be available while supplies last as one of our online exclusives starting in July. But again, demonstrators can get it now. So if you have any interest in joining my Diamonds team, we'd love to have you. Um, so just let me know. Uh, leave me a comment below or you can send me a message and I'll chat with you about it. All right. So the best way to stay up with everything I've got going on, though, is to join my email list. Yes, that's right. I send a free PDF tutorial bundle, not one, bundle every single month to my email subscribers as a thank you for joining me on my journey. So get signed up for that if you're not already on that email. All right, so let's switch over to our crafty fun. Oh, I don't think I told you. If you're watching this video when it premieres on YouTube, I am right here with you in the chat. So feel free to talk with me and I will answer your questions. Let me know where you're from. Say hello. I'd love to talk with you as well. If you're watching on replay, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Um, let me know if you're enjoying the content. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your crafty friends. All right, let's switch the camera over and get started with today's fun. All right, so um, today's project, we're actually going to uh, feature two parts from two bit different bundles. So this is the Unbounded Beauty Collection. Um, and this one is a mega sweet because it's got two different bundles in it. So we are gonna use the Unbounded Love as well as we're pulling in the dye from the Flowers of Beauty. So that's fun, 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 right? So today's project, we're doing a cool reverse masking um silhouette card so i just thought this was super fun we've got a little bit of splatter on there um some little sparkle and colored gems and of course we bring our design to the inside with a little bit of splatter and the same black frame on the white border okay you're ready to get started all right so i'm going to bring in a piece of masking paper so I've actually die cut the center of this with this largest circle from the Stylish Shapes dies. I love these, um, use them all the time. And the reason I chose this is because I really like this stitching. And I don't know if you guys noticed, the stitching actually picked up when I did the reverse masking. So a lot of times we cover an image and then stamp to kind of mask it off to, to do the... Um, forward and backwards of it, right? And then I've used the circle before to put down to make a sky, right? Well, this time I'm gonna do the reverse. I am using the part I would normally throw away for my mask, okay? So I'm gonna bring in my basic white layer. So this is three and three quarters by five. And I'm gonna take my masking paper. Now this has a backing paper to it. Oh, did I do the wrong side? I did do the wrong side. All right, well, we'll see how this works, right? Um, so I die cut it with this as the front and instead of the back. So now our masking paper is super sticky. So I like to remove some of the stickum by pressing it either against my hands, my skin, or my clothing, right? Like if I bring my shirt in, um, we can get some of that stickum off with that as well. I'm just going to use my hands. And kind of get a little bit of that off. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because it, sometimes it'll rip the cardstock if it's too sticky. So, but I want it sticky enough that it's going to stick, right? 
Okay, so I'm gonna lay this over the top of my layer here, and because it's bigger, it's going to hold my layer in place as well. So let's kind of see if we're happy with our placement here. Let's see if I can get this over just a smidge more. Okay, so it's a little bit uh, left of center. Let's see if I can pull this up. We'll see if it rips our paper, right? So I like to go slow and at an angle when I'm removing the masking paper whenever I can because I tend to do much better in pulling it off and less risk of tearing. Okay, let's see if we can do a little bit better job in getting this centered left to right. Or even if it's a little bit right justified, I'm okay with that. All right, let's see where we're at this time around. Let's see if I can get that circle down nicely. We'll see what the stitching does this time. Oh, now I am more to the right, right justified, which I'm okay with that. I don't know if you guys can see the paper underneath. So you can see I'm somewhat centered top to bottom, and I'm a little bit more to the right than the left. I've got a little wider space here and a little narrower space there. I'm okay with that for this one, okay? So I'm gonna bring in my Petunia Pop ink pad, one of my favorite ink colors, and a blending brush. And we are gonna go ahead and start applying color. Actually, let me turn this the other way. And the reason I just turned that is because this is the way my pad opens. So as I'm putting pressure on this and pulling ink off, it, I, it gives me less trouble, right? It, it doesn't pop open as easily if I do it the other way. All right, so I'm gonna start and just kind of start putting a light touch of color all over the whole thing, right? And I've got spots that are gonna pick up more color than others, but I want a light touch of Petunia Pop. Just barely see it. Okay, now we're gonna work down here and we are gonna try to get this a nice deep Petunia color down at the bottom. So this is gonna take a little bit of effort. I did not re-ink my pad recently, so it could be a little juicier, but I don't wanna re-ink it and then go right into this technique because then it's too wet, right? Have you ever had that where you just end up with blobs of ink? We don't want that. We wanna just, you know, blend it on. And I'm gonna make it darker on one side than the other. Continuing to blend that out. So you really can put on as much color as you want or as little color as you want, I should say. Um, I want this a nice, deep, deep color. So I am going to really go heavy down here and keep layering this. And I should have a nice edge by now, right? And we'll see if our stitching shows up on this one, like it did on my original. You know, I'm using the wrong side, I guess you could say. Or I cut it on the wrong side. Still works, for the circle part at least. But we'll see what it does with the stitching, since it's the back side of it. Okay, I'm starting to see some depth of color here. Do you guys find stuff like this relaxing or tedious, right? Does this put you over the edge? Because you do have to have patience when you're when you're doing uh, this type or this depth of blending, right? It's like I said, I want a really dark, if I can get it, color. Now, I could have cut my um, masking paper down a little bit. It didn't have to be this large if you didn't want to use a whole sheet. And a lot of times, I'll reuse my masking paper on more than one project. On this one, I did not do that because I had so much ink saturation on this one side. I was afraid that if I were to use it on another project, that I would get quite a bit of ink transfer. Um, so I did not go down that path. Oh, I'm so close to being where I want to be on this. All right, so let's see if we can blend this out a little bit. I 
went just a bit more. Just a bit more, right down here. You guys can probably see it on camera even better than I can see it, where I've got a couple of light spots here. Yeah, I can see it. I can actually see it better on camera. Phone has a better eye than I do, doesn't it? All right, just a smidge more. All right, I'm gonna give that up. This is what our color is going to be. So let me put this away. And then let's carefully remove this masking paper. All right, so I'm gonna pull that up. Oh, I'm already tearing my paper. Let's see if we can do it. Maybe we'll start from the top. Okay, so I'm gonna hold that cardstock down and I'm gonna slowly pull at an angle. I don't wanna be in a hurry on this because I really don't want it to tear my paper. So you can see that uh, stitching a little bit. Not as nicely as on my first one, my original, right? So you don't see any on that side. Very little over here. Just really more down at the bottom. It's okay if the masking paper tears, no big deal there. Do you have a little spot there that it wanted to tear? But that's okay. We're going to be good. Yay! I like it when it works out. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to put a little bit of splatter on this layer. So I'm bringing in an old paper pumpkin box. This works great for this. And I've got my dark Petunia Pop Stamp and Blend. Now, I don't typically use the brush tip for anything other than splatter or coloring embellishments. Um, both of those things will really wear down your tip but it's great because since these are alcohol based, um, they do color very nicely onto other mediums. So um, if that bothers you, get a separate um, blend for splattering and coloring embellishments if you actually color with that end. I do not color with that end, so as I said. All right, so I'm just flicking off the cap to get a little bit of splatter here. Nice. Now I've got a second piece of white, same size, that I'm gonna bring in. And I wanna put a little splatter on it as well because this is where we wanna bring our design to the end side, right? So you can put as, as much or as little splatter on there as you'd like, right? Nice. Love how that turns out. All right, now we are ready to layer our card. Can you believe it? So I'm gonna layer this on a piece of basic black cardstock that measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. So it's just an eighth bigger because I like that skinny border around the edge here. Nice. And then I've got my Petunia Pop card base. So this is four and a quarter by 11. I'm doing a top fold, get a little bone folder. And let's pop this up with some dimensionals if I can find them. Ooh, brand new sheet. Who loves a new sheet of dimensionals? I love it. A little extra, extra oomph so it doesn't sag in the middle. Alrighty, there we go. And we are going to place this somewhat centered, centered as we can get, right? on my cardstock base there. All right, so next, I'm gonna put some masking, or not masking paper, some adhesive sheet on a scrap of basic black. So I didn't know if you guys have done adhesive sheets before. So they come in six by 12 length and they have different panels that will peel off to make it easy to use them. So you can see that right there. So this is trash and then this is sticky. So I'm gonna place this on my cardstock. This goes on the back, right? And I'm going to rub this with my bone folder. This is important, right? Because you want to get a really good adhesion to the cardstock here. Okay. And then I'm going to take, this is from the um, Flowers of Beauty dies, this lovely um, image here. And I'm going to flip this back over. I'm going to lay this on here and run and die cut that. 
So I actually already have one ready to go, but I wanted you guys to see how to use um, the mat, uh, the adhesive sheet if you haven't used it. It's perfect for things like this. So now I can just peel the paper off the back and it's gonna expose the stickiness. So now I don't have to get my hands all messy with liquid glue, yay, because that is not my fave. And we're gonna place this element right down on here and it will stick and be good to go, right? I love that about it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Nice. All right, so I have got a little label that I've cut with the Unbounded Love die. So let me bring that in. So this label right here, I love this one. It's super cute. And we are gonna stamp with Memento Black ink. If I can find where I put it. And I'm gonna just stamp the little hello right on that tag right there. So sweet. Now while we've got this out, let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment on our inside piece. And I'm gonna stamp this happy birthday. I'm gonna put this towards the bottom. I'm not even in camera, am I? There we go. Hopefully you guys can see better now. All right, so I've got my happy birthday on the inside. We are almost done, can you believe it? This is a fast, easy card. You just have to have patience doing the um, the shading on the front, the spotlight there. All right, let's grab some more dimensionals. I'm gonna put two on there, one on each end. Maybe, okay. And then I'm just going to place my cute little sentiment on here. I love it, I love it, I love it, love it. And let's finish the front off with a couple of our In Color Sparkle Gems. I love these, some of my faves. Okay, so let's pop on one of the big ones and a small one. Hmm, where do I wanna put it? up a little higher than I did on the last one, but I think that's okay. And then we're going to pop one down here too. What do you think? Like it? All right, let's finish off our inside. So we've got our splatter in our sentiment, and we're going to also layer this on that black layer. So just use our stamp and seal. And place that layer down. And then we will use our seal one more time and get this placed on the card inside. And we are done. Done, done, done. Perfect. Do you guys love it? I love it, I love it. So fast, easy, so pretty, I think. Has a big punch to it, a big wow to it, I think, for a quick, fast and easy card, right? Um, so just a couple reminders. Um, cultivated Creativity Registration is ending soon. There's just a couple of days left, right? So registration ends on Thursday this week, and we are featuring the Beach Day stamp set and dies. Love those, love those, love those. So if you're not uh, on my Cultivated Creativity um list yet um hopefully you will join that it's so much fun uh so and then we'll have a new event opening soon so don't forget this is the last uh we're in the last two weeks of being uh able to take advantage of our stamp and die bundle sale so you've got uh you know bundles are already 10 percent off um but you can get an additional 10 percent off and same thing with our big uh stamp and cut and emboss machine and our mini as well those are 10 percent off so there's a great sale going on so hopefully you guys will take advantage of that so if you're enjoying the content give me a thumbs up and uh, please share with your crafty friends and invite them to come over and hang out with us on tuesdays all right thank you so much and i will hope to see you next tuesday bye for now